Hello boys and girls, nice to see you again. Well, today I'm going to read a story about a Stone Age boy. Someone who lived a long, long time ago. The story is written by Satoshi Kitamura and he also did the pictures. You can see on the front cover is a little boy and a girl and they're standing in the mouth of a cave. Let's have a look inside this wonderful story. And there is a cave painting of a woolly mammoth. And here are some of the animals that lived at that time. And you might know some of them, like uh, the wolf and the bison, reindeer. You might not know all of them. There's a wolverine. Very interesting. Stone Age boy. And there's the boy walking through the wood. An amazing thing once happened to me. I was wandering in the woods when I tripped and found myself falling down, down, down. Oh dear, look, he's landed in a cave, I think. When I woke up, I was in a cold, dark place. I could see daylight in the distance and I stumbled towards it. Outside, everything was different. I realised I was lost, completely lost. So I walked and walked and walked. Then, to my relief, I saw someone, a girl. She was about my age, but she didn't look like any of the girls I knew. And I don't think I looked like any of the boys she knew. She looked at the boy, looked at his shoes, his glasses, and then took his hand. She took me home to meet her family, and what a family it was. They looked very strange, but they were kind to me and gave me some stew. I couldn't understand anything they were saying, though I worked out my new friend's name was Om. Then I must have fallen asleep. You can see the family around the campfire and there's a little boy eating his stew. The next morning, Om showed me round the camp. Everyone seemed busy and had a job to do. Over the next few days, I saw so much I'd never seen before. Om's people had no knives and forks, no plastic, no metal even. Everything they had was made of wood, stone, animal skins or bones. I saw them, look, making spears, preparing bread, fish. Making fire by striking flint stones together or turning a wooden drill. Fire is used for cooking to keep warm and sometimes to scare animals. Making tools by flint napping. The flints are chipped, trimmed and sharpened and then made into knives, spearheads and scrapers for cleaning animal skins. I had a go, but it was difficult using tools. Tools are used to make wood, antlers and bones into bowls, spears and ornaments. Cutting a slice out of a bone, sharpening it on a ground stone and piercing a hole. It's a sewing needle. Those are some ornaments. Using a throwing stick you can throw a spear faster and further. Preparing and using animal skins. Skinning a deer. There's the deer taking the skin off it. Scraping the hide clean. Drying it, cutting it, piercing holes, sewing it together. And look, they're making clothes. Using skins to repair a tent. Cutting meat, preparing and cooking food. Drying meat, smoking meat, drying fish. 
boiling soup by putting a red-hot stone into a leather bag and grilling meat. One afternoon we went to the river. The little ones picked berries and nuts, but Om and I watched the men fishing. They held their pointed spears high and stood as still as trees. Then suddenly, swoosh, their spears dropped down like lightning and came up again, spiking, wriggling, silver fish. Suddenly a boy ran up, shouting and pointing to the hills. At once several people grabbed their spears and followed him. Om and I followed them. Slowly, slowly we crept forwards until we saw a reindeer. It was standing alone, munching the grass. At a signal, the others ran towards it, yelling and throwing their spears. Om and I didn't have spears, but we yelled anyway. It was so exciting. A spear caught the reindeer in its side and it fell to the ground. That night we had a party to celebrate. We cooked the reindeer over a great fire and there was music and dancing. I joined in on air guitar. <laughs> As the days became weeks, Om and her people taught me many things. I was very happy. Then one day, Om took me to a special place. We walked a long way until we came to the mouth of a cave. Om struck flint stones together to make fire. She lit a torch and we went in. Here's the cave. Wow! <gasps> Look at the cave painting. It took me a moment to realise the animals were only paintings. In the flickering light of the torch, they looked real, as if they were running all around us. Om went over to the tools and paints the artists had left and began to draw. Can you see what she's drawing? It's the little boy. Suddenly I saw something move in the darkness. It was a bear, a big, furious cave bear. I shouted at Om to run and turned to face the bear with my spear. I felt very small. Suddenly the ground gave way and I found myself falling down, down, down. And look, he's back where he was. When I woke up, the bear had gone. So had Om. I rushed outside. The air felt different, warmer. I walked a long way, calling for Om, but I never found her. Instead, I found I was back home. When I told my family what had happened, they didn't believe me. They said I'd only been gone a few hours and I must have fallen asleep and dreamt it. Years passed, but I never forgot my friend Om. I am an archaeologist now. That's me in the glasses. Everywhere I go, I look in the past for signs of Om, and I never stop learning from her and her people. Oh, was it a dream? Well, maybe. And look. There's the boy when he became a man in glasses. They're digging, looking for things from a long, long time ago. And look, that's the drawing in the cave, the cave painting of the little boy. Maybe not. Hmm. And look here, if I just move my picture, you can see uh, when the Stone Age was, so long ago, 15,000 years before the Christian era. So that's about 17,000 years ago. Before the first pottery, before the first farmers, before keeping animals, before the first towns, before the first wheel and the pyramids, even 
ancient Greece was a lot later. Well, that's very exciting. And here are some other animals that lived at the time, like the woolly mammoth and the pine marten and the woolly rhinoceros. And there's the back cover. An amazing thing happened to me. Mm, well, it was an amazing story. There's the back and front cover. And here's the front. Stone Age Boy. What a super story. I hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon. Goodbye.